Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is August 22nd, 2023. Today's devotional is called Greater Works. From John 14, 12. He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. You're also in John 14 and you're verses 1 through 14. A lot of red. A lot of red. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way you know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. How can we know thy way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? Mm -hmm. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and, ha and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye, sh if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. One of the greats. Why was Jesus' perspective so full? Because Jesus saw great potential in the disciples. He knew he had the material that would bring out what would prove to be a real satisfaction to the world, to heaven and to the world. The glorified, trained, wonderfully modified, and then again glorified positions of these fishermen were surely ideal places in which to be. What were the disciples? For one thing, they were unlearned. <laughs> However, God taught them. It is far better to have the learning of the Spirit than anything else. They were ignorant. He enlarged them. They were beside themselves because they had been touched with the divine life. If the Most High God touches you, you will be beside yourself. As long as you hold your own, the natural and the spiritual will be mixed. But if you ever jump over the lines by the power of the new creation, you will find he has gotten a hold of you. Divine wisdom will never make you foolish. Divine wisdom will give you a sound mind. Divine wisdom will give you a touch of divine nature. Divine life is full of divine appointment and equipping. And you cannot be filled with the power of God without a manifestation. It is my prayer that we would understand that to be filled with the Holy Spirit is to be filled with manifestation, the glory of the Lord being in the midst of us, manifesting his divine power. Jesus knew that these people he had before him were going to do greater things than he had done. How could they do them? None of us is able, none of us is capable, but as we believe in him, we can do greater works because he is in heaven interceding for us. Thought for today, our incapability has to be clothed with his divine ability and our helplessness has to be filled with this power of helpfulness. Mm. Such a blessing to be filled with the spirit. God bless you. God bless you.